Hi, I'm Raquel and welcome to My Virgo Kitchen. Today in My Virgo Kitchen, I'm making blackened mahi-mahi. If you want to see how I make this delicious dish, keep watching. Let's get started. I'm starting off with five fresh fillets of mahi-mahi and they've been generously coated in a blackened fish seasoning. The blackened fish seasoning that I prefer to use is a brand called Chef Prudhomme and I get it in my local supermarket. I prefer this one because it's so well seasoned you don't really have to add anything else. There's no salt needed, no pepper. I only use the blackened fish seasoning and it comes out perfectly every time. The best part about it is there are only a few ingredients needed for this recipe. Other than the fish and the blackened seasoning, you only need olive oil. I have a pan heating up, so let's get it coated with olive oil so we can cook our fish. I waited until the pan was really hot before adding the fish. There's a great sizzle when you add it to the pan. If you don't hear that, then your pan is not hot enough. When you're doing a blackened style fish, you wanna make sure your pan is super hot because the combination of the herbs and spices in the seasoning mixture, it caramelizes and gives it a blackened, super flavorful, crispy coating on the outside. At this point, I'm paying attention to how much the fish is cooked on the side. If you look at the very bottom, you'll notice it's a more opaque color and the parts that are not cooked are a little more translucent. You don't want the opaque color to make it halfway up the fish. Before it gets to the halfway mark, you wanna turn it over. The reason for this is because it's gonna to continue to cook on the other side and once you take your fish out of the pan at the very end, you don't want the very center to be completely done as it will continue to cook once you take it out. Now I'm checking the fish just to see how it feels when I push down on it. It's a little sort of spongy. That way I know the center is not overcooked. I'm gonna have a nice, moist, delicious fish at the end. So there you have it, blackened mahi-mahi. I chose to use mahi-mahi for this recipe because it's a very firm and flavorful fish, but truthfully, you could use any firm fish and it would be just as delicious following the same recipe. Now I mentioned there are only a few ingredients, but I'll be sure to include all of the details, including the instructions on myvirgokitchen.com. As a side, I made a delicious quinoa salad to have with the mahi-mahi. Quinoa is not quite a grain, it's actually a seed, but many kind of view it as a rice substitute. It's delicious, it's very versatile, and it takes on the flavor of pretty much anything that you put in with it. There's a recipe coming soon, so make sure you come back to my Virgo kitchen often so you can see how I make this delicious side. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. If you want to see how I make cilantro lime rice, click the thumbnail at the top. If you want to make some crispy buttermilk fried chicken, click the thumbnail at the bottom. And don't forget to subscribe.